we are talking about a vision that the Apostle Paul had. <clears throat> so again, I want, to just, I want to just mention this to you, that um, uh, they had a, the Apostle Paul had a mandate, had an assignment. God separated them and sent them, him and those that were to go with him. Originally, it was Paul and Barnabas. Barnabas said <clears throat> they had a disagreement about the way to go about things. And Barnabas left Paul. And so now God filled the space that Barnabas left with Silas. I mean, that's just interesting. And we'll, we'll, we can talk about that uh, on another s uh, session. But because I want to just get to the vision. And that night, verse 9, that Paul had a vision. Paul had a vision. That night, Paul had a vision. So he obeyed God. He didn't go to the places that God said, don't go there. He was going about doing his work. I want to almost say it felt like, it must have felt like Paul. I know I'm doing this and, I've got to, and I'm going to these towns, but I really wanted to go there, but the Holy Spirit restrained me. And so when you, when you, when you're in that moment where you, I should be doing that. I know at some point I have to do that, but I'm doing this. It might feel like you're kind of marking time sometimes, but then you're in the perfect place for God to do something and, and come and make something happen. And in this case, that night Paul had a vision. A man from Macedonia in northern Greece was standing there pleading with him. Come over to Macedonia and help us. Now, I mean, this is quite an amazing thing. The man was dressed in a different way. He was dressed as a Macedonian. And he's, he's there pleading in the vision to Paul, come over here and help us. I would like to read it to you from the Amplified Bible. Uh, verse 9 says, There a vision appeared to Paul in the night. A man from Macedonia stood pleading with him and saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. This man was pleading with him. This man wasn't, he didn't just come there for no reason. Come over here and help us. I'm going to go to the next verse because any vision, any dream, anything that happens to you while you're asleep, so it might be a supernatural, spiritually in inspired dream, or something that God births in your spirit and then brings it out. Or in some cases, God may have people speak into your life confirming what's in your spirit. The next thing he says in verse 10, I'm reading the Amplified verse, then I'll go to the New Living Translation. And when, they had, when he had seen the vision, we, including the Apostle Luke, so we know it's Paul, Silas and the Apostle Luke at least, at once endeavored to go into Macedonia, confidently inferring that God had called us to proclaim the glad tidings of the gospel to them. So this man that came on the vision, he didn't say, come preach the gospel to us. This man that came in a vision, he said, come over here and help us. So when Paul shared their dream with Silas and Luke, they immediately interpreted it for themselves we are called to preach the gospel. This is our mandate. This is our assignment. God has prevented us from going into these places. Now I've got a vision from someone calling me to this place. This must be that God is authorizing us, permitting us, calling us, leading us to definitely go to that place. So he goes and they all go to that place. I'm going to read it to you again from verse 10 in the New Living Translations. So we decided to leave for Macedonia at once. They wake up, they have a conversation. This is what happened. Change of plans. We're not going to try us. We're not going to stay out, hang out here. We're definitely going in this direction. Most people that have a vision board of or written down vision for their life, they won't have capability to change the plan that God then brings to them. Most people will stick to the plan because this is the thing that has always worked. Always the best plan is to follow the Holy Spirit. So we decided to leave at, for Macedonia at once, having concluded that God was calling us to preach the good news there. Everything that God is going to have you do, 
in your dreams and your visions as part of everything you do in your life is always to live and represent and preach the good news. I've got more good news for you in the next session we come together. <music>